I'm Justin Pugh. I'm going to every Thursday night football game to find the best fans in the NFL. And tonight, we're with Philadelphia Eagles, baby. Let's go. Eagles. 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 Go Birds! Yeah! All right, look. <laughs> it's his job strap. <laughs> I'm a piss by nothing but the birds, baby. Cool! Did I disappoint you? Yes, very much so. Yeah. Welcome to Philadelphia. We're in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, home of the Philadelphia Eagles, one of the most hostile environments in sports. It is time to go find out what it's all about. We have a great day in store. Let's get to it. All right, as you guys know, we are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. We got a bunch last week. Shout out to the Ravens flock. But I got to give a shout out to our day ones, our Kansas City Chiefs fans. You guys have been holding us down throughout the entire season. You are number one in the ranking, so you're always there defending your honor. We have a little bit of a surprise for you. It's been a few weeks in the making, but I want to share with you something that we've been working on specifically for you. You notice something different? Check out the hat, the Thursday Football Club, specifically for all my Kansas City Chiefs fans. We made about 50 of these bad boys. It is a limited edition. You guys can find out where to get them in the bio. Go get yours right now. All my day ones, all my Lot J folks out in Kansas City. Now don't think we're forgetting about all the other fan bases. For every video that we get over 75,000 views on, we will be creating another limited drop for those teams. Now, the Chiefs says, home of the Chiefs. <laughs> We're trying to give a little shout out, customize it for you. So keep liking, subscribing, sharing the videos. We're gonna get 25,000. We got helicopters flying overhead. Now let's get to the game. <laughs> Straight off the couch. Right there, where are you from, man? I'm from, well, we have to from my Really? Yeah, it's right out. Are you commander? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Are you, are you guys ready for the game today? Yeah, we're gonna win. Well, I'm gonna, ask, I'm gonna ask you on camera right now. So I'm doing a new show. Yeah. So I go to every Thursday night. Yeah, oh, no, we've been watching. We watch every week. We watch every no week. way. Sweat out. Sweat out. Every week. Every week. Every week. We're like, we're like, I bet he's here. <laughs> All right, so we are at the Rocky statue. I'm sitting here and I hear someone screaming straight off the couch at me. And at first I thought he was booing me and gonna give me a hard time because we are in Philadelphia, but end up being a Commanders fan. And we're both enemies in enemy territory. Where are you from, man? Uh, well, I'm originally from a place called Essex near London, but I live in Glasgow, Scotland now. You, you live in Glasgow. I was just there for the, uh, the British Open. Oh yeah. yeah. It was amazing. I went to uh, Mother India, my favorite Indian oh, spot. Oh yeah, we literally we go there all the time. We've been there before. It's great. All right, first off, what's your name? I didn't even Dan, ask. Dan. Dan. Nice all right, Dan, you're a Commanders fan. Yeah. How did you become a Commanders fan? Um I got into American football maybe like, I don't know, 12, 15 years ago, and then it was like kind of when RG3 was about, and then I kind of like picked him on Madden, and then it's just been misery ever since. But obviously this season, Jaden Daniels is coming, absolutely turned it around. So yeah, absolutely love it. How do you feel about Jay Gruden? Remember the old head coach, old old coach Jay Gruden. Well, he just—I think he chats a lot of crap on Twitter and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, and he's he a does. bit. I think he's just. I mean, we've got a word sort of back home. I mean, we call him a wanker. Jay, you are a bit of a wanker, mate. But I do a podcast with Jay, and he is a bit of a wanker. There you go. Yeah, so there you go. Bye. Jay, I still love you. We still love you, Jay, but you are a bit of a wanker. Yes, it was Bruce Allen's fault, not yours. So, yeah, it will understand. Go. Do you know the show? How did you find out about the Thursday the, the uh, Thursday show? It was one of the ones that just got recommended. So it, was, it wasn't even like an organic search. Train. It was like a recommended video, just clicked on it, and then we watched every single one, basically, when it comes out every week. Do you yeah. think the Eagles can take the top spot tonight? They won't. They won't. They won't. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It was, we're winning this game, I'm telling you. I'm so confident going into this. I know I know that's like bad and like being a Washington fan means like not being confident at all. But I'm, I've just, obviously I've had a feeling, I'm telling you. Like we're going in tonight. I saw Dan Quinn yesterday or whenever he was in the press conference. He seemed absolutely buzzing, so I'm, I'm ready. All right, prediction for the score. Like, like 32-28. 32-28, you heard it here first. Commanders win. <laughs> Thank you.
We have one challenge today. And that is, can the Eagles win me over? Me and the Eagles have not got along throughout my career. I am not wearing an Eagles jersey today. I don't know what I'm wearing today. We are going to have to try to figure that one out. The Eagles and I don't see eye to eye. Coming out, I was an Eagles fan growing up. Most people know that. I get drafted by the New York Giants. When I would go to dinner with my mom, people would do Eagles chants. When I was down the shore with her, they would give my family a hard time. Like I was a traitor. My like gym teacher growing up used to flip me the bird hoping I would lose. Now the Eagles kicked our butts my entire career while we were in New York, so that adds fuel to the fire. I um, had some bad games against the Eagles. This is going to be the most challenging video yet. Depending on how I interact with the fans today, and, and I'm in my hometown, depends on how I'm going to support the team tonight. This is a unique video. Stay tuned to find out. There is a lot to unpack here, so it's up to you, the fans, at the game today, and we'll see how they do. Off camera, you're already admitting that this whole Kelly Green is looking pretty. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I mean, say it's that. pretty fire. All right, so we just drove by and and it's absolutely packed. There's probably 150 people outside of like a very small restaurant. It is absolutely, bar none, the best cheesesteak in Philadelphia and the best pizza. I think it's got very high rankings throughout. So we're going to go try it out right now. Alright guys, we're outside of Angelo's Pizzeria. It is the best cheesesteak in Philadelphia. I, I'm from here, I will vouch for it, I'll stand on it, and the pizza's amazing. So we're about to go inside, meet Danny the owner, and get some of these cheesesteaks. Hold on, hold on. There's someone filming over here right now too. He's like... Excuse me, um... Uh, we're are you guys... Filming? Well, we're, we're filming too. Well, who are you? My name's Justin Peter. I've been playing in the NFL for the last 11 years. This is my first season not playing. And now I'm going from the field to the stands to find the best fans in the NFL. So we're going to find the best stadiums, the best food, the craziest fans every so, Thursday. So like a yeah, like a show about Thursday night football. Yeah, it's a YouTube show about Thursday night football. Huh, sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're doing? <laughs> you never heard of NFL end zone? I know, I know you. Right. Don't, don't you know? Don't you? We run not. into each other I see every him Thursday. Every Thursday. You don't know this, but I do. But you, well, Justin Pugh has um, actually made an appearance um, before on NFL End Zone. Wanted to share it with you. All right, <laughs> now I'm nervous. The volume up on this? Now I'm nervous. Right. And here we are in the Cardinals home locker room. This is amazing. This is They're in the Cardinals first locker room. for me on this oh, show. COVID locker room. You've got oh my all God. your COVID protocol, yeah. called the plexiglass between every players. Oh locker. my God, I know this video Ooh, now. Do? Yes. 67. <laughs> oh, Justin. Justin. <laughs> oh, he looks like he forgot something. <laughs> Hold up. We have to get this on camera. This is the most. This is the most. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, first I'm like, of all, I'm getting red, not from the, not from the. Uh, I had never been in a in an NFL locker room yet. It was like my first or second season yeah. on the show. We're getting a tour, and it's super clean. There's nothing there, and there's one thing hanging. All right, in his all right. Seat, and it's his jock strap. Yes, yes. Someone should have grabbed that. Like, they're no, Cardinals. Are you guys not looking out for me, Cardinals? Like, don't get me. You're embarrassing me on national TV. <laughs> Uh, we're upstairs at Angelo's. This is the man that makes it all go. Danny, the hospitality has been tremendous. We have more food than we know what to do with. The family, the friends, everyone's here. What, what, do, what How do we get started? We're just gonna start opening stuff up. We told them to make a bunch of stuff and that's it. And we're gonna have cheesesteaks, do some cutlets, pizza, hoagies. Everything. Hold on, we gotta get Jared in here real quick. Get in there, Jared's Jared. the MVP of this thing. Jared's right. the guy who makes everything go. Right, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a cheese steak. You gotta right, open yeah, one up. Okay. All right, we're all, it's like Christmas morning, all right? We're gonna open up a bunch of stuff. This is my nephew, Jack. This is Josh. Everyone already knows Josh. Everyone's gonna open it up and then you're gonna tell us like, what we got for yeah, Christmas. Yeah, it's a potluck. We don't know there what we it go. is. That's the star of the show right there, right? That's a cheesesteak fried onions. There you go. That's just, uh, you're running the mill cheesesteak fried onions. All right, let's I will tell you we baked that. Don't hold on. I'm not letting him fresh. get away with that. That right there. There, that's what people come for, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> right, hold on, I'll let you finish, sorry. We uh, we bake our bread fresh all day long, so we, if you come in at 11 o'clock in the afternoon or you come in at 7 o'clock at night, you're getting the same freshness and quality as the guy who came earlier, so oh, we're not. Uh, that's the communion. Oh, right my there. God. I mean, that is, beside my kids, one of my best creations in the world right there. Look at that. I mean, right up there with my oh, kids. So here, you gotta give them a cross cut. Oh, we gotta give them a cross cut. So we got. You got 
We bred the cutlets. We butchered a chicken and bred it here. We do everything fresh here. We make our own bread. We don't raise our own cattle yet, but we will for the cheesesteak. But you got chicken cutlets, American cheese sauce, sauteed baby spinach, and mushrooms. Not canned mushrooms. We chop them fresh every day and cook them down. So nothing's out of a can here. Nothing comes out of a bag. None of that crap. Look at that. That is just, nobody loves you more than us. Not even your mother. All right, that's an upside down. So that's our take on the Sicilian. Cheese goes on top of the dough, then the tomatoes so we can cook it well done. We cook everything well done here. We do not use the word burnt. We use char. There's a difference. Once you get me go, and there's Oh, the shit. So you got your real This my nephew, my nephew. You got a little fresh the mozzarella in there too that we pull here ourselves. We don't buy it, yeah, so. We're we'll running out of room. Usually, like, see the basil wilts a little bit when it goes, I mean, we put a man on the moon. They can't figure out a better way to put a pizza to get it to your house instead of a box that steams it up and makes it mushy. Are we, are we figuring that out? I'll get Jared on it. Yeah, uh, Jared. I'll get Jared on it. Jared will figure it out. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, we got other stuff, you know, different kinds of hoagies, different toppings for cheesesteaks and all, but, um, this is pretty much it. I, I wish you guys would eat pretty quick so I don't get all. All right, everyone's got to eat now because we, you know, it's starting to get. We're starting to lose it a little bit. Come on. All right, so we're standing outside, and who do I run into? I run into Josh, the Philly special. We had him on the show earlier in the year. You flew in. You, you had to get Angelo's today. Yep. Hey, how you doing, man? Doing great. Doing awesome. How are you doing? I'm doing great now. I like what you're wearing. Hold on. I know you. I know you gave me a hard. I, I don't have Eagles you know? gear on, and you, we talked about this earlier. But uh, first off, what'd you get to eat today? Oh, well, I had to get the just standard original cheesesteak from Angela's. It doesn't get better than that. But there's a whole meal over here that we're waiting to dig into. So, I know. You know. I, hey, hey, so you gave me a hard time about the jersey. I don't think I should be wearing a jersey. I'm a Giants guy. Give me your best sales pitch. I mean, you, you represent a lot of these Philadelphia fans. You're the voice of a lot of these fans. You, you love the team. Pitch me on why I need to put Eagles jersey on. Okay, so I can I can certainly try to pitch you. I will say off camera, you're already admitting that this whole Kelly Green is looking pretty. I didn't say that. I didn't I mean, say it's that. It's pretty fire. So fake news, fake news. Uh, we can <laughs> we can go back to. But I mean, come on, like it doesn't get much better. Night game in Philadelphia for the division lead. I mean, if, and you've done it at all the other stadiums, right? So like to keep the status quo, to, to keep your integrity, you, you do need to, of course, wear an NFL jersey. The Kelly Greens are nice. This is a sick jacket. Like, yeah, I can't sit here and lie to you. This is an absolutely fire jacket. I can't I can't confirm or deny it. I think like your your Saquon told me, and we can play the clip. Field passes, sign Saquon jersey. I'm like, hey, the Giants fans are gonna decapitate me for that one. So there has to be Maybe like a so. there has to be like a medium threshold here. That's fair. Okay. So let me ponder what if, it. What I got a I got a solution. Okay. Maybe potentially. Okay. We'll okay. see what you think. Okay. So NFL offensive lineman, right? Alumni, NFL offensive. Lineman. What if we don't say current NFL player or current Eagles player, right? We go like legends. You go with a, you go with a Jason Kelsey jersey. He's not on the Eagles now. He, he is, was on the he Eagles. He is everything that is. He's but my ten years. In New York, like I had a look at Kelsey, they were beating me. They were beating us. We beat them last year, though. My la our last game last year, we did beat them. The last you, game see, of the there season. you go. It's just a little tip of the cap to Jason Kelsey. It's a little, like a little tip. You know, Kelsey, I, we I do love you, so. brother. Jason, you're killing it. Trav, you're killing it. But um, ah, ah. That's just just give us a minute. We gotta think through this. All, right. All of my Eagles friends, family out there, you gotta follow Josh. If you're not following Josh, the Philly special, he breaks down all the games. You and Thomas, yep. Thomas Mott, they break down everything Eagles. So if you love Philadelphia Eagles football, you need to be following this man. If you're a Chiefs fan, if you're a Ravens fan, like trust me, Philadelphia Eagles are passion. This is a guy you need to follow to stay up to date. You get, hey, you keep your friends close. You keep your enemies closer. See, there you go. And I'll get back to you on and, the jersey. Okay. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna see you at you the tailgate. I will see, we'll see. I'm not wearing it. I'm not wearing it. We're outside Xfinity Live. We were walking by and my boy's like, yo, there's a mechanical bull inside. We have to ride it, so we're going in. But first, I'm like, all right, let me show you guys what I'm wearing today. <sighs> we're going Rocky. We're going all green. We're going all green Rocky. We're going all green, Rocky. We got Jordan Davis walking in the in the Jordan, screen. That's right. Jordan like Davis is here, baby. Jordan Davis all day, baby. Jersey got one. All right, we're going Rocky. We're going green. We're not going all the way in with the birds. No jersey tonight. Let's go ride this mechanical bull. Come on. Let's see who does the longest. We're all doing it, even Alex. Get down.
down, let's get down to business Give you one more night, one more night to get this We've had a million, a million nights just like this So let's get down, let's get down to business Tailgates are lit here, bro. They got it's everywhere. It's everywhere. This is like the biggest spread out tailgate, but everyone's getting after it. All right, guys, I'm out in the tailgate C6. We found my guy, Philly sports guy. You might have seen him in Brazil. He's been everywhere. What do we think about tonight? Oh, I am fuck. I am hyped for tonight. It is ready to go. The NFC East is on the line this early in the season on a Thursday night. Oh, man. we just smacked around Dallas, and now we got Washington. It's going to be a bloodbath tonight. I'm excited. It's going to be a bloodbath. That's now, right. hey, look, I was a Giants guy for a couple years, so you've been booing I'm me. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you Wait, me. the Giants are like our baby brother that we beat up all the time. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I appreciate you having me out here. I appreciate you showing me what it's like to be a Philly sports fan. There's one thing left that I, that I have to ask you to do. All right, it's, let's do it. It's, it's, e -A -G -L -E -S, Eagles! Yeah! And there you have it, folks. This let's go. Deal. Let's go, baby. Go, Birds! Yeah! All right, guys, I got to give a shout out to all my people at C6, the tailgate here right by Wells Fargo. Shout out to my guys. If you are here at a Philadelphia Eagles tailgate, you got to come through, right? Come see us. Go Birds. So we're at our last tailgate before we head into the game. We saw Josh earlier at Angelo's. Thomas, man, it's good to see you. Why you man? So Josh was giving me a hard time. Yeah. You got to wear Eagles gear. I went with the Rocky, the green. Is this, is this acceptable? Yeah, it's a good look. It's a good look. I would like to see you in an Eagle jersey, but this is going to pass. It, it's going to be fine. All right, it's going to yeah. pass. Did I disappoint you? Yes, very much so. Yeah. All right. Give me your thoughts on the game tonight. You already gave me your thoughts on the game tonight. Give me your thoughts on the game tonight. I am All right. Well, hold on. I'll come back to you. Sorry. I feel like they might roll tonight. I think, you know, everyone's saying Jane Daniels is going to run all over our defense. I think this might be the statement win Philadelphia's needed basically all season long. I think they roll. They roll. All right. They roll. They. I agree. Yeah. Eagles all the way, baby. They go they Birds. Rock. And they roll. they roll. All right. Go Birds. The one last thing that we got to do together is we probably got to do one Eagles chant, right? That's like the, that's the, that's the way to do it. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll let you guys kick it off, and I'll just kind of jump in there a little bit. All right, here we go. All right, ready? E-A-G-L-E-S. -E -S. Ah! All right, thanks, guys. You're the best. You're the best. Thank you, guys. All right, back in the stadium. The tailgates were amazing. The, the energy out there is fantastic. We're going to see this during the game. And I want to give a quick shout-out to our folks over at TickPick. They got us here at the pregame VIP tailgate. We're checking that out. They are the official fan experience partner of the Philadelphia Eagles. If you are in need of tickets, go to TickPick. They took care of us like brothers. You know we struggle with our tickets. So we have to always have that reliable source. And TickPick is that. Can't wait to get to our seats and get this game rolling. All right, quick update. We're in the game. We have our tickets. Josh is almost dead. He's freezing cold. Jack can't make it. Andrew and Alex are, are holding on for dear life. The game's about to kick off. It's a crazy atmosphere. We got light up the link in four minutes. Stay tuned. Eagles are driving. They're on the 25. They're going in there. They're in the red zone. It's freezing. It's our first cold game of the year. Third and long. They're going to kick a field goal. Eagles miss a field goal. Commanders are taking over. It's go time for the Commanders. We'll see. We'll see. Touchdown, Washington. Jaden Daniels looks like a stud. Austin Eckler looks like he's drinking from the Fountain of Youth. And the Washington Commanders go up 7-0 in the first. This guy's kicking his seat over here. It's a good maneuver. Very good tackle by the Eagles. They're going to get the ball back to start the second quarter. The Eagles are getting the ball in good field position. 
Fans are getting rowdy. Jake Elliott's missed another one. He's two missed field goals. Nick Sirianni is getting in trouble for going for it. Now he's kicking it. He's missing field goals. Fans are getting restless. Commanders up 7 0. Just the start of the second quarter. All right, let's get hot chocolate and crab fries. Come on. We're watching the play. Jalen Hurts rolling out to the right. He's tucking it and running. He's tucking it and running. He's got the first down. Eagles are in scoring position. All right. It's 7 0 Commanders. It's been a little bit of a boring first half. We went and got hot chocolate. The game's a little cold. Hold on, I gotta show you. I gotta show you something. All right, you come to Philadelphia, you get chicken and Pete's crab fries with the cheese sauce. This is a savior. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. With the cheese. Hold on. Show me the cheese. With the cheese. With the cheese. This is what you do. Eagles are going for it. Third and three on the three to tie it up before half. Commanders get the ball coming out. So this is a big drive. It's a big. Jalen Hurst drops back, looks left, scrambles up, steps up in the pocket, throws it incomplete. Fourth and three. Oh no, I think Jalen Hurts is down. Jalen Hurts slow to get up. And they're kicking it. Nick Sirianni is calling a quite conservative game here tonight. The one thing I think about uh, Jalen is he looks he looks healthy again. He's moving around. He's running well. It's dangerous when he's moving like that. Nick Sirianni is going to try to win a game, kicking off field goals. Kicks good. 10-6. Commanders up. 5:30 to play in the third. I just want to take a moment to say how nice replay assist is. Jalen Hurts clearly has got a first down. No time wasted. They fix it. We're moving. Eagles are driving. Down four. 14:53 to go in the fourth. Let's see what the Eagles do with it. Saquon Barkley checking into the game. Touchdown, Saquon. Uh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They said he's down at the one. They said he's down at the one. Damn, he was down at the one. Tush push time. You can't come to an Eagles game without experiencing your first tush push. 100% of the time, it works every time. Get the fans, they're going crazy. I don't think I can do the song, no. We'll watch everyone else do it, and we'll kind of bop along, but I don't think I can do this, the chant either. Commanders went for it, fourth down, stuffed. Eagles retain possession. Look how wild this place is about to get. Saquon, Saquon, Saquon. <laughs> up in here, up in here. Friend of the program, Saquon Barkley, touchdown to put the game out of out of reach. Bad play on the other end. Dan Quinn should have kicked a field goal because then no matter what, it's a one possession game. Now it's a two possession. He missed. No, he made it, he made it, he made it. Now it's a two possession game. Dan Quinn screwed up by not going for two. He's probably gonna cost his team the game. Interception. This one's all but over. We got five minutes left. Eagles just picked it off. They're up nine. They're on the 50 yard line driving now. We've had some close games. I don't think this is going to be one. Saquon Barkley does it again. Saquon Barkley does it again. Never a doubt. All right, Weapon X, Brian Dawkins. Are the Eagles going to the Super Bowl? That's a tough question. The Lions are tough, but I say yes! Are we buying our tickets to the Super Bowl right now? Super Bowl is tough. It's us, it's the Lions. That's the NFC Championship game. Lions lose another game. We win out. We host the NFC Championship game. We win the NFC Championship game. We put the Ravens in the Super Bowl. We win the f Super Bowl. Let's go, Let's baby. go, baby! E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles! I ain't gonna piss about nothing but the f 
Birds, baby. Come on! There we go. That's Come all on. we needed, baby. Come on! Eagles rest of the season. What's the prediction? We going to the Super Bowl! Super Bowl! <laughs> Who is the Eagles' biggest threat in the Super Bowl? It's nobody or nothing, baby! E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles! Belt the ass, yeah! The Eagles win. Slow first half. We'll talk about it later. They win. Saquon won off. Friend of the program. We're skimming in traffic for 15 hours. So we figure we do our little update. Let's take it home, man. Another successful Thursday. We'll see you next Thursday in Cleveland. Guess who's back? Come on, Angie. He was a boy. She was a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? All right, first up, we're going city. B-City, great city, has the history, has all the Rocky Steps, has the Art Museum, great city. I'm not putting on, like, the, the top tiers of cities. Fans, S, um, the Eagles fans, you guys get down. You guys are crazy. Now, I will knock you a little bit because sometimes there was some times where you say some reckless things to people and there were some fights in the parking lots. The, getting out of the parking lot was the worst thing I've ever experienced. So maybe I, maybe I might take you guys down a little bit. You guys don't know how to get out of a parking lot. But overall, the football fan experience, you guys are S-tier game. I'm going D with the game. It was nothing really to write home about. A couple minutes field goals in the first half. The commanders got up. It was kind of a boring game. You thought it might pick up, and then the Eagles just ran away with it. The game wasn't, wasn't that fun. Uh, a little bit anticlimactic. The team didn't really do much for us. The Eagles were like, hey, you guys are on your own. Figure it out. There's a chance we weren't going to be able to record. We dealt with that in L.A., it was all fine. We made it work. But, uh, you know, to get over that next hump, like the Ravens got us on the field, that might uh, that might have changed things for us. And really, it was tough because the game wasn't that good. It was pretty cold. The fans never really could get into the game because there was never something to cheer about. There were the missed field goals. Fans were kind of booing. I will give the fans a shout out. You gave Zach Ertz a standing ovation. That was cool. Tailgates. Pure tailgating, like Baltimore, you guys had to tailgate and be more around town. You had these, like, destinations to stop at. I would have to say Philadelphia is even like, even probably a notch up. Um, they have like the, your average, your average Joe is out there grilling in the back of his car. The one guy that we ran into was like, you know, frying chicken wings out in the parking lot. C6 was an unbelievable tailgate with the DJ. Fourth and John, everyone told us to go there. We had a great time. They get down. Plus they have Xfinity Live. They have all the other ballparks down there. So you can go to, you can go to a hockey game, baseball game, basketball game, all in this one area. There was a casino right there, which was where we where we actually parked and couldn't get out of for two hours, which just is going to hurt the rankings because it was miserable and people were trying to fight each other to get out of the parking lot. Stadium, I'm actually going to go A on stadium because of all the things I mentioned, everything around it. The stadium itself is nice, uh, has all the bells and whistles, not like a super old stadium, but definitely not on Atlanta or, or SoFi's level. Food, S tier. It's just below New York. I think the cheesesteak from Angelo's is the best cheesesteak in the world. The pizza, Danny from Angelo's took care of us like a brother. Um, so really, really enjoyed that. Overall, I'm going to go A- minus on this one. I think a better game could have put Philly fans over the top. The one thing I'll say is like everyone talks about how like the, you're going to get into a fight. Josh wore a Ravens jersey, got a chirped a couple times. Maybe if he wore Commanders, it would have got a little more intricate. But really, Philly fans like were fighting each other at times, uh, which was which was quite comical. I'm I'm gonna still put you guys below Kansas City and Baltimore, right there on the same level as Atlanta. Atlanta had a better game, which probably maybe squeaks it out a bit. But Philadelphia, from like the fan experience, is more of a football vibe, um, and that's really it. I mean, that's the rankings. We'll put you guys right in there. It was a fun experience. You know, tough for me going back to Philly. It was a little weird doing uh, doing all of that, but I really enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed the fans. You guys were great. Shout out to to all the people that we ran into. We had some fans that recognized us. So, you know, keep that. Keep coming up to us, showing that love. It makes us feel good about it. And uh, and subscribe. You know, we got a bunch of subscribers last week from Baltimore. Let's try to get a, let's try to get 2,000 subscribers from this episode. Road to 25,000 is still alive and well. And we will see you guys in Cleveland. A lot of surprises. There's going to be some weather getting involved. We've got a lot in store for you guys coming up. All right, we'll see you there. Peace. They're, come, they're not even here yet. They're, they stopped to get ice cream.